Are you having a bad day? Are you feeling down? Did someone skadoosh in your bowl of cereal this morning? Well, if so, skadoosh in theirs. Welcome back to the channel, my ninjas. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Remember, great way to support the channel for absolutely free. Just be subscribed. And shares do matter as well. That way I populate in that little news feed on the sides of YouTube. It helps YouTube know that you enjoy the content and they will end up showing more of that content to you. Doesn't help this video get more views. I don't think people realize that. I don't think they realize that. It does not help this channel to help get more views, but I guess in a sense it does because it'll bring you back to the channel. So if you enjoy it, now you know why. You should smack that like button in the eye. So what do we have here? Well, we're gonna start things off with a good old M19 and Dominaria pre-release pack. We're gonna open both of them right now because we're feeling a little crazy. Shout outs to my homies, Christopher Cartier, Ronald Dowling, Sebastian Saylor, Eric Fearman, Travis P, Jim Ludwig, Matthew LaBelle, Ireland DM, Pengile, 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 William Beasley, Rich Van, oh, hold on one second. We gotta make sure we don't see this. We gotta put this face down. Ass up, that's the way she liked up. Clogged up, fog alert, ripped the pants up, ripped the shirt, rough. What? Four. I, I got it right, finally. We finally got one right. That is terrible. We are bad. Uh, shout out to Rich Van Otta, Adam Storm, James Gurton, Brian Stanley, Devin Heyer, Richard Price, Chad Erickson, Dustin Bates, my ninjas. And some new ninjas as well in the mix. Also, we're going to crack open JD Anglin's. Uh, see how they don't do the stamp thing? You see that? That's like the 20th example I can give you from my post office now. Now you know. They just never end up punching that. That's what my post office does. Call me crazy. All right, here we go. I'm not going to reuse it. I'm just going to cut that out and reuse it. That's what I do. Play a play. Woo, 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 woo. Goodwill Hunter. I used to go every Sunday to Goodwill's and go shopping. Call it Goodwill Hunting. That's what I did. Isolate for our foil to start things off. What a thopter. Isolate, it's really, uh, it's not overrated or underrated. It just, man, if you're going to sideboard this thing, it's got to really work out for you. XL target permanent with converted mana cost one. Had this thing said XL target permanent with converted mana cost two or less, that would have been phenomenal. Um, it would have been worth something, you know? I, I kind of, I wanted to get on board. I think I picked up a bunch of these for like 20 cents a piece. I picked up, I think, like 20 of them, honestly, for 20, 25 cents a pop. I thought, why the heck not? Uh, I don't think they've moved much. <laughs> they have not moved much, but I do have a feeling down the road, we are going to see some pretty amazing legendary creatures that are one and two drop. And it's really going to change a few things. Um, but yeah, some one drop legend legos, and that's going to make a difference in this game a little bit uh, with certain cards going up in price. Another video, another video, of course. Suspicious Bookcase. Another Leon and Vanguard. Can't get away from those. Volcanic Dragon and Spitflame. Spitflame deals four damage to target creature. And then whenever a dragon enters the battlefield, you can pay one red mana, and it returns. It returns to your hand. That's right. And you can play it all over again. It's that simple. Got a knight token in the back to punt. We do, we do. Goblin Motivator. What is your motivators in life? Everyone's got to have them. What motivates you? And Halloween's right around the corner, man. Anyone dress up? What are you going to be? Do you not care? Are you going to sit at home and throw stuff at the kids trick-or-treating? Don't do that, all right? Bad stuff could happen to you. Uh, Siege Breaker Giant, Poison Tip Archer, giggity, and Pelica Worm is our rare. This has not been a very good opening so far. I feel like, uh, you know, crying a little bit. These feel the same. Yeah, they both feel the same. I think they should use different kind of wrapping. Um, they should have some actual, like, Wizards of the Coast wrapping and whatnot. Because there was that whole crazy thing, you know, people can reseal these things. Uh, but really, the only thing they're going to take out of it that's any good would be, uh, or they can put in some bogus packs, I guess, and take out these, knowing that there might be a mythic in each one of these uh, kind of little pre-release kits. But they could also take out that promo card if it's good. And then it goes bye-byes. And it's replaced it with something garbage. Magistrate Scepter. Just, I mean, not trying to, you know, create people, you know, get people all crazy and whatnot. But it's a possibility, you know. Anything's possible, really. 
All right, out of the next one. Fingers crossed. I got I got a good feeling about this. Started out with a cute chick. I mean, she might be getting up there in age, but you know, she's a few miles on her, no big deal. She's all right. Got the manolith. Blood divination. Druid of horns. Vampire Sovereign Dragon's Horde. This has been a dragon kind of opening here so far. With a foul orchard. With a foul orchard. All right, we got one more pack core. One more core 2019 pack to go. And then we can check out our pre-release kit. There we go. Or <laughs> what are we saying sometimes? Somebody calm down. Tectonic Rift, Reassembling Skeleton, Sift, and a dismissive pyromancer. Yikes. This has been very unfortunate. What is what is this gonna be? Come on, come on, don't fail me. Boosh! Really? That's what we get. It's actually not too bad. It's not too bad. But this was this this our rare pile? No. This was not ideal. I mean, I guess for, if you're going red and dragons or something, which you don't really have too many dragons, would not have been too shabby. Um, but we did get our phylactery. Phylactery? Pure. Yep, we got one of those. Litcher. There's that. JD, what'd you send me, homie? Let's check this out really quick. What did JD send me? Hopefully there's no address. There is an address right there. That's why we do this. Slap these puppies down. Uh, sorry for the handwriting to Ninja Master. Uh, I sent you 13 cards, the ones in the hard sleeves. If possible, can you sign them? Absolutely. Um, send them back. The others in the self sleeves are for you. Thanks again. The others in the the soft. Okay, the soft for mine. Uh, the ones. Uh, the where, whoops. Where am I at? And the soft sleeves are for you. Again, I hope you like the ones for you. Redneck JD, JD Anglin, my ninja. Thank you very much. I got the address on the back there. We will hide that over here. Whoa, you got you sent quite a few things here. What? Whoa, buddy. Whoa, we got quite a few things going on here. All right, all right, all right. So was it hard sleeves? Which one's for me? I got to read this again. I screw things up here often. We all know that. Uh, the ones in the hard sleeves. Okay. I sent 13 cards. The ones in the hard sleeves. If possible, can you sign them? Absolutely, dude. Uh, and send them back. The ones in the hard sleeves. Okay. Yep. Okay. So all hard sleeves are to be signed. What we got here? Be signing a Garouk. I like that card. It's really nasty. Cloud Chef Foil, pretty cool. We got the Ajani Valiant Protector. On the back, we got Silencia Clue Stone. It's pretty slick looking uh, foils there, Mel. Um, you said th oh, 13 cards in total, and those hard ones you want to sign. Gotcha. And then we got Dripping Dead. The artwork on that is stupid gorgeous. Can't block over Dripping Dead. Deals combat kind of damage to a creature. Destroy that creature. It can't be regenerated. Nasty. Six to drop, though. Prophet of Crufix, Foilage, looking gorgeous. Nice wizard. Prognostic Sphinx. I like the Eric. Well, where did these come from? I can't remember how the set came from these. Or how they, how they went about these guys. Uh, Smoke Spew Invoker. Love my zombies, dude. Thank you very much. Zombies are sweet. And this guy, the classic, the Hamlet back Goliath. The Hamlet back Goliath. Ember Swallower. Hey, I have that. It's actually on this map. Uh, it's on this... Uh, this play, play thing, yep, stuff. It's on my map back here. Ember Swallower, promo, sick. Temple of Mystery. That's pretty nasty. Never seen that uh, in this in this version, this promo. It's pretty cool. Rival Demon. Love Demons too. Whenever Demon enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, destroy all non-artifact, non-black creatures that can't be regenerated. Holy smokes, that would devastate. Eight Dropper. Festering Mummy. This good old zombie. My Ninja. I do appreciate it very much. Thank you, dude. It does mean a lot. JD, I'll get these back out to you, these guys, when I sign them. Uh, look at these split, probably by tonight. I'll get them in the good old mailbox for you. I've been more on top of that lately. It's true, I have been. Let's get to cracking open Mr. Dominaria. Swing! Well, we can already see that, but we're not going to see the back. So we got Sisei's Legacy is on the back side there. We're going to roll a seven. Seven. Thirteen. Rhymes with seven, so that was not bad. Pretty close. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Can we pull... What's the worst card in this set that we don't want to pull? Can we pull that? Whatever the worst card in the set is, let's pull that. Let's just pull that card. If you don't expect too much, you might not be let down. 
Much is the key word there, children. Much. Kamal's Druidic Vow. All right. We got, a, we got one of those. This goes over here. I forgot how goofy these packs are. Dominaria is nasty, man. Uh, I do expect this set. This is one of the sets that's going to go up in value for sure. You got a lot of expensive hits in this set, guys, and they're still selling for only 90 bucks a pop. That's pretty stupid. Why do I always pull a Fall of the Thrawn? Can I pull anything else other than Fall of the Thrawn, really? Garden of the Blood Flame. We did pull a Garden of the Blood Flame. That's cool. No more Thrawn. No more Fall of the Thrawn. Please, please no more. We got the Power Stone Shard. Everyone shards. That's what happens. Call the Calvary. With a Skizik. Thalid Soothsayer. Verdant Force is our rare slot with the Quendal Pride of Femoref. Femoref. Who names these guys? Pride of Femoref. What is Femoref? Does anyone know? Can someone tell me what a Femoref is? Is that a tribe? Are they human knight Femorifs out there? Is this some kind of secret cult I don't know much about? I kind of have a feeling it is. And uh, I'd like to sign up if possible. So please let me know. Song of Frey Isle. Warcraft Phoenix. We got Jose, the old liquor knight. There you go. There you go, liquor knight. Dominaria. Come on, baby. Dominaria, give me something stupid. Give me something stupid right now. All I want for Christmas is my Dominaria. Come on, come on, come on. Another song of Frey Isle. This would have been good for a green deck. Juggernaut. Thrawn Temporal Gateway with the Ur Orgoros the Empty One. All right, all right, moving along. One more Dominaria. Fingers crossed, ladies and gems, fingers crossed. These have been two uh, very bland openings, I must say. I've opened these uh, pre-release kits before. I mean, we really hit home runs, but not this time. Uh, Dil Diligent Excavator. Ooh, we'll put that over here. Short Sword and a Jota Archmage Eternal. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. How did that happen? Unbelievable. All right, I think we got one foil and all that. That is ridiculous. Are you serious right now? One foil and all that. All right, what's on the back? Boosh! Got the Jota Archmage. All right. All right, all right, all right. So we got the Jota Archmage, and we got Shana Sisse's Legacy with the liquor. I have to say, this was the absolute 100% without a shadow of a doubt worst effing opening i've ever done on this channel there is absolutely no value whatsoever in here um what maybe a dollar is the most expensive card i think we pulled i'm not complaining but i'm complaining i think 30 cents might be the most expensive card did we pull no we didn't even no 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 you know cut the camera this is over this wedding's horseshit we have no food our pets' heads are falling off, PLA.